Right now, a group of doctors announced plans to open a clinic just south of the state line to continue helping Wisconsin women with abortion access. Plus, today is the day the Beltline Flex Lanes are officially operational. We have a live report. And later, an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with Governor Evers and an update on the progress being made after declaring 2021 the year of broadband. Welcome to News 3 Now at 6. Thank you for joining us tonight. U.S. House Majority Leader Steny Hoyer says the House will vote Friday on two bills aimed at boosting abortion rights. Both of them are expected to pass the House. However, they are not expected to win the 10 Republican votes needed to pass the Senate. One of those bills was introduced this week in part by Senator Tammy Baldwin. It is called the Freedom to Travel for Health Care Act of 2022. Its purpose is to protect every woman's constitutional right to travel across state lines to receive receive abortion care and the providers who care for them. A group of doctors and supporters from the Madison area is hoping to make it more convenient to do just that, cross into Illinois for abortion services. Rockford Family Action is planning to open a clinic in Illinois to specifically serve Dane County residents who can no longer receive abortion services in Wisconsin. Tahlil Mohadeen spoke with group leaders and joins us now with their plans. Charlotte, leaders from the Rockford Family Planning Foundation say they've been planning for the new clinic for months, anticipating that Roe v. Wade would be overturned. And though it's not quite ready to open just yet, they're already seeing interest from both patients and providers. Jeannie Bissell has been passionate about supporting a woman's right to choose for as long as she can remember. A girlfriend of mine in high school got pregnant and we needed to take her down to Greenwich Village on a Greyhound bus. Decades later, she's still fighting for abortion access, facing a Supreme Court decision that makes it a felony for health care providers to terminate a pregnancy in Wisconsin. Sending them to Chicago and Waukegan and Aurora was just unacceptable. It's, it, we didn't know the capacity, whether or not they could get an appointment. Bissell is leading a group of doctors, activists, and philanthropists. We kind of went into action. Set to open a new clinic in Rockford, Illinois. There are lots of providers that want to get involved and want it. They're dedicated to the mission. The center will provide full gynecological health services to include surgical and medical abortions, motivated by the group's number one concern, safety. It's a very scary idea that without legal and safe abortion, what will women do? Bissell says they're primarily hoping to serve Dane County patients from low income and disadvantaged populations with the help whoever they can. We will not turn anybody away. Financial assistance will definitely be provided through the Wisconsin Medical Fund. There are other funds. We will have a justice fund. She also says they're hoping to give people the option to more easily make their own decisions. The gift of going back to school, finishing their education, pursuing their careers, and um, taking care of the families that they already have. The Rockford Family Planning Foundation is currently raising $500,000 for startup costs. They expect to open the clinic in the next three to six months after some renovation. When Roe versus Wade was overturned, Planned Parenthood says 70 women in Wisconsin had their abortions canceled, some already in waiting rooms. Tonight, for the first time, we are hearing from one of those women about what the day was like for her and what she did next. It was kind of emotional for me when they said, like, we need, if you want to do it, we need to do it this weekend because there's just no more time. Tonight at 10, hear about her trip across the Illinois border to get an abortion and how Illinois Planned Parenthood clinics are managing the influx of women seeking abortions in their state. And developing tonight, public health leaders have now identified a second case of monkeypox in Dane County, marking the third in the state. But experts are reminding everyone the risk of catching it is still low and it spreads mostly through close, intimate contact with someone. Well, it is another beautiful night for some music on the Capitol Square. Meteorologist Julian Seawright is there now with our first worn forecast. Hi, Julian. Thanks, Charlotte. And it is a beauty out here. Just like the music on the concerts on the square, our weather is cooperating oh so nicely for us. As we take a look outside from our sky cam, we can see just a couple of clouds lingering just outside of the Capitol as the sun is starting to set for us. But overall, man, is it a nice night for us. If we take a look at our almanac, we stacked up at 79 degrees as being our high for today. A few degrees below seasonable, but still oh so nicely for us especially since it wasn't overly humid now take a look at temperatures around southern Wisconsin as of right now and even for the upper Midwest 77 degrees here in Madison areas to the east a little bit towards
towards the lower 70s and wind speeds are a nice light breeze as well into the single digits not seeing any precipitation which is great news for us lots of dry conditions here in southern Wisconsin and our evening is going to shape up just like that the cloud cover is going to start to dissipate temperatures will fall even more we're going to be looking at a wonderful night we'll take a look at what else our changes will be in just a few moments until then let's toss it back to you Charlotte Here's a live look at the Beltline tonight. The new flex lanes opened this morning, running much of the Beltline west to Whitney Way. Our crews this morning told us they noticed less traffic than usual, but the true test is going to play out during the evening rush hour. Our Catherine Merck checked in with the Dane County Sheriff's Office about what they expect to see. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Charlotte. Well, things seem to be pretty smooth out here on the Beltline. We're driving along right next to the flex lane here, and all afternoon there hasn't been too much traffic. And uh, if you're at work or headed somewhere using the Beltline soon, News 3 has a couple of tips you can use to make sure you know how to use the new flex lanes. This is from the Wisconsin Department of Transportation. The colors here are what's going to be key. You'll see a yellow stripe on the road itself, and that's going to indicate where the flex lane is. Signs above the road are going to show you when the flex lane is open by showing a green arrow. A red X means the lane is closed, and a yellow X means to merge out of the flex lane because it'll be about to end. The people with the Dane County Sheriff's Office who help handle these crashes on the Beltline view it as both good and bad. I think overall it'll alleviate congestion. If there's incidences in the flex lane, then it can also complicate the job as well. So it makes it, it does make it a challenge to try to get to incidences if we have four lanes of gridlock. If you guys watching at home have any questions about what I just said about how to view the flex lane and drive on it, our digital team has all the information you need to know about which signs to follow to make sure where you need to go. That's all on our website right now at channel3000.com. We're going to keep monitoring the roads here for now. In Madison, I'm Catherine Merck for News 3 Now. And check this out. Gas can now be found, believe it or not, for under $4 a gallon in Madison. This is at the Woodman's on Gammon Road. $3.89 per gallon there. According to AAA, gas is averaging about $4.28 in the Madison area, down nearly 60 cents from a month ago. Flags around the city and state are being flown at half staff today. It's in honor of former Juneau County Circuit Court Judge John Romer, who is being laid to rest today. Judge Romer was 68 years old when he was killed in his new Lisbon home by a man who Romer had sent to prison more than 15 years ago. Authorities called the killing a targeted attack by a suspect who also had other government officials as targets. And on the campaign trail, connecting Wisconsinites, if not with politics, at least through broadband. In 2021, the governor declared it the year of broadband. So where are we now? He sat down with political reporter Will Keneally. That's right. So with issues like abortion and inflation dominating the campaign so far, this week the governor released a plan on broadband access. He wants to double the $300 million investment that the state has already made trying to connect Wisconsinites to strong internet. It means a lot. Governor Evers says it's more than just about faster internet for some residents. I was visiting with folks that are, are, have the, the cable right to their house and, they, and it, it's going to be put in uh, sometime in the next couple of weeks. And the guy said, I walked out of the house this morning and I saw that cable and I almost cried. This week, the governor's task force on broadband released an annual report. Since Evers declared 2021 the year of broadband, he's invested $300 million of federal and state funds to reach about 387,000 households and businesses. In the next four years, he wants to try and reach another 300,000. That it is our goal to, to bring it to as many people as possible and hopefully get it completely done in four years. I, I'm a little doubtful of that. He says that goal depends on the workforce available to support the expansion. People are geared up and excited. Part of the task force report includes looking at the expansion of broadband through an equity lens. Evers says that means making sure it's affordable for both rural and urban customers. So that it, it, it remains at a really, uh, really important uh, um, a price point where people can actually afford it. And on the Republican side, the top candidates looking to unseat Evers both support expanding broadband access. And make sure that our infrastructure is the best in the country. And Tim Michaels tells WXPR and Rhinelander that he too supports access to broadband. So as you see, it's a bipartisan issue. Evers says that he's worked with Republicans in the past to expand broadband access and looks forward to doing that in the future if he wins re-election.
Still ahead at 6, we'll head back to Concerts on the Square where Eric Franke is standing by. Stay with us. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we provide trusted brands and products at fair and honest prices every day. That's why if you find an item we carry someplace else for less, we offer Blaine's best price promise. The guaranteed lowest price or we'll match it. Right now, get men's work and sport pocket tees for just $12.99. Save up to 60% on all Martha Stewart kitchenware items. And select bags of mulch or five for ten bucks. Find value at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. At McGann Furniture and Flooring in Baraboo, we know that hardworking people want the most value for their money. At McGann's, we've already sorted out and selected the brands that we feel offer you the most bang for your buck. From young couples to senior citizens, we offer a huge selection at prices that will fit your budget. And remember, at McGann's, we don't raise prices only to lower them later for a sale. Discover the difference at McGann Furniture and Flooring, downtown Baraboo. This is the house that angels built. Attic Angels Senior Living Community is built on a foundation of authentic, local care. A framework for living well. Windows to take in the beautiful future. And is crowned by the pride that one's home is one's castle. This is the house that angels built. Attic Angel Community. Independent homes and four levels of assisted living. Built with the help of angels. Mom, Abel's looking for you. Oh, all right. As parents, we know that all Wisconsin kids should grow up in a healthy, safe world. As a women's health doctor, I know that access to abortion services is fundamental to personal and economic success. I'm going to fight for financial security so Wisconsin families can succeed and even dream. I'm Jillian Bettino, a mother, a doctor, a fighter, and I'm running for Wisconsin State Treasurer. It is another picture-perfect evening for another installment of Concerts on the Square. Tonight's performance titled Reflections of Liberty. It's also the world premiere of Dr. Bill Banfield's concert work, Testimony of Tone, Tune, and Time, inspired by the writings of Frederick Douglass. Eric Franke is at the event right now. So, Eric, how's it going so far? Charlotte, you hit it right on the head. It is a gorgeous night. I know you are here the last couple weeks. We've hit the jackpot on the weather the first few weeks. We're already at the halfway point. Summer goes way too fast in Wisconsin. And uh, we're already at the halfway point after tonight of the Wisconsin uh, Chamber Orchestra's uh, Concerts on the Square series. Joe Lanus, the CEO, joining us now. Joe, great night once again. Yeah, another great crowd, great weather, and uh, quite a program tonight. Yeah, this is really special. We had the opportunity to speak with your composer in residence, Bill Ban Dr. Bill Banfield, at five, and, and Maestro Sewell. And this is really a special thing they've orchestrated over the past, really, a, a couple years in the making. Yeah, I mean, this, this program, I think Andrew's been envisioning for quite some time and there's so many components going on and in terms of like collaborative partners we have the Middleton Choir it's locally based Leota Stanley and Friends who of course is very well known here in Madison right. uh, we have Johannes Wallman who's a jazz professor of piano at UW uh, LA based Grace Kelly saxophone is mm -hmm. playing on this tonight and then we have these two narrators Dr. Reverend Alex G of course and Nehemiah and then uh, Katie Parrish who's uh, over at the U so it's just it's just an array of uh, amazing artists bringing this community together. A really powerful message. We're going to hear like the voice of Dr. Martin Luther King here as we stand at Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard uh, along the Capitol Square. We're going to Dr. G is going to narrate. It's just going to be a really amazing performance. And this re this uh, composer in residence program really a, an important component. Talk about what it means to the to the Wisconsin Chamber Orchestra. Yeah, so we're a year in. Um, Andrew and Bill have had a relationship for 30 plus years, and we're really trying to see how a living contemporary composer in our time who writes music within the context of our times can bridge orchestra and community for transformational change. So it's a it's a it's sort of a three part process here, and we have him for at least three years, and he's just so inspiring when he thinks about how his mu music moves people to action, and I think. Uh, we're lucky, Madison's lucky to have him. I don't think they quite know uh, him yet, but they will after tonight. But I think it's a really important thing for modern orchestras to think about. You could really tell how much this meant to him, and, and especially working with his longtime friend, uh, Maestro Sewell. And you mentioned the local artist, but there's a little bit of something for everybody. You mentioned uh, the saxophone player who's special, a lot of really talented local and national artists. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, there's something for everybody. Andrew has programmed a couple of classics concerts. If you know Carmina Barana by Carl Orff, that's the middle 
Littleton High School choir as oh for two. Uh, <laughs> um, and uh, Leotha just brings so much energy so with his group. Yeah. It's just it, you just leave just feeling so uplifted uh, listening to Leotha Stanley. And of course Patrice Russian, who is LA based, uh, mm -hmm. has my night in Seek of the Glory. So that's a phenomenal piece. She mainly writes music for uh, movies. Yeah. So there's this sort of grandiosity of that piece that I think everyone's going to be mesmerized. Get ready for that one because it's going to be powerful. Uh, it's just about full down here. We got we don't have quite an hour to go yet, but there's maybe you could squeeze in here, maybe get a chair on the on the sidewalk over here. But Joe, thank you so much. Yeah, We're halfway yeah. through. Summer's going too fast, I'll it tell is, you. Yeah. But another beautiful night down here, starting at seven o'clock, Charlotte. A, a great night once again for concerts on the square. Eric, thank you. When we come back, the unusual find in a Wisconsin neighborhood, an alligator wandering in the street. And meteorologist Julian C. Wright will have his full forecast for you next. Find a fresh frame of mind at Planet Fitness for $1 down. So while you see a treadmill, you also see a fast lane to more confidence. It's this place, I tell you. Join Planet Fitness for $1 down, $10 a month. Cancel any time. Deal ends July 20th. And he got so upset at me. Oh my god. Look. No way. She has definitely got some work done. Doesn't even look the same anymore. Talk about an extreme makeover. I wonder how much of Bob's money she spent on those upgrades. Hi! The house looks great, right? Three years, no interest on roofing and siding from Feldco. Right now, get three years, no interest on Feldco roofing and siding. Three years, no interest on Feldco roofing and siding and soon. Call now. 866 for Feldco. Right now at Steinhoffel, save big on all of our best sellers. Start with savings of 35% off store-wide. Then get great deals on all of our best-selling mattresses, bedrooms, sofas, dining rooms, and so much more. Something for every style and every budget at the guaranteed lowest prices. So shop in-store or online at steinhoffels.com during the Best Sellers event. Relax, it's Steinhoffels. I'm Tim Michaels. Commanding the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier was an honor beyond measure. America is a miracle of countless sacrifices from unknown patriots. Honoring that is our duty. But today, America is under attack by radicals trying to tear down everything that makes America great. This is a fight we cannot lose. I'm Tim Michaels. I'm running for governor to help save the America that those before saved for us. Oh, great. My wireless bill just went up. Hmm. Should have gone with U.S. Cellular. They aren't raising prices on any of their plans. Seriously? Yeah, my price won't increase. Well, that is refreshing. I feel like everywhere you turn these days, prices are going up. Supply chain got us, too. Don't get me started on the overhead cost. At U.S. Cellular, every plan for everyone is price protected. You know, I respect a female entrepreneur. U.S. Cellular, where every plan is price protected. Find a fresh frame of mind at Planet Fitness for $1 down. So while you see a treadmill, you also see a fast lane to more confidence. It's this place, I tell you. Join Planet Fitness for $1 down, $10 a month. Cancel any time. Deal ends July 20th. A bizarre sighting in a southeast Wisconsin neighborhood created a big stir. It happened in Kenosha when some kids found an alligator wandering in the street. Nick Bohr has the story. Some Kenosha police officers have themselves a memory for a lifetime, a call they'll likely never get again. Our dispatchers uh, gave the call out, you know, respond to an alligator in the roadway at 22nd Avenue and 24th Street, and you could hear the chuckle in the voice right. uh, from the dispatchers. But as you can see, that's exactly what police found here. It turns out some kids enjoying summertime outside playing uh, were, you know, spotted this alligator in the street. Uh, we're playing too close to the street and mom yells at him, get away from the street. But mom, there's an alligator here. Sure enough, there's an alligator in the road. And this is what they found. Now back with its owner, the alligator was able to escape from his backyard where it was spending the day in a kiddie pool. By the time he realized the gator was gone, police had already recovered it. The owner says while it could bite, it really isn't dangerous. It's not going to attack you. It's not going to attack your dog or your cat. <laughs> but you understand why there's some excitement here. I completely understand why there'd be some excitement. And that's why I don't tell anyone, because then they freak out. People freak out, so. But it's harmless. Police determined there's nothing illegal about keeping an alligator and returned it to the owner. 
there's a lot of sad news that we deal with and to be able to respond to a call like this and uh, and have a few laughs uh, during your daytime yeah it's it's badly needed I think so they did enjoy it Pearl said he's just keeping the alligator for a friend. He promises to keep a closer eye on it in the future. We're going to go back live now to Concerts on the Square. Meteorologist Julian Seawright has our full forecast. Hi, Julian. I'm going back to Charlotte, it is still beautiful out and it's even getting more packed by the minutes here. And we've been talking about over the last hour of how gorgeous it is for the Constance on the Square and folks, it's just going to continue to get better as we get into the rest of the night. As we take a look at what we're seeing for the Constance on the Square forecast in itself, it's going to be comfortable, so not dealing with a lot of humidity. And on top of it, the cloud cover that we've been seeing is going to start to phase out a bit, so we are looking for a lot of open skies as we get into the rest of tonight. Now taking a look at our surface map, we had that cold front sweep through, which is going to keep things rather mild for us here in the upper Midwest, but that high pressure system is what's going to keep us rather dry. Now, going in throughout the rest of our future track, tonight is going to be gorgeous. We're waking up tomorrow with even better conditions. Temperatures will be into the 50s. We'll warm up by the afternoon hours, so getting into those 60s and even into those uh, 70s. By the time we get into our evening commute, not a whole lot of traffic in terms of weather, but we are going to be tracking a shower system that's going to be rolling its way late into our Thursday night, overnight into Friday morning, where we could be seeing some showers of thunderstorms starting to sweep into southern Wisconsin and will bring us some much needed rain on and off throughout our Friday morning, Friday afternoon, and even into our Friday nights. And we're looking at some pretty good rain totals for us too. Could see potentially about an inch of some rainfall for us here in Madison and even more so towards areas just to the southeast as well. But for this weekend, well, we do have a couple of chances of seeing a bit more rainfall for us as well, especially as we get into our Saturday and even for our Sunday. Just going to be a couple of spots where we could see some showers but overall not going to be looking for a washout heading into this weekend. But again, we definitely need this rain. We've had a nice dry sunny week, but what that does not really help out our dry, drought monitor, which is still abnormally dry for us here in Madison as we go in throughout the what we're going to be looking at for out the next couple of days for us. So hopefully after this rain, we'll see going from our Friday and even going into our weekend will help to minimize the drought that we have here. And we're going to need it too, because as we get into next week, we're going to be seeing a bit more drier conditions and temperatures that will be really close to the 90 degree mark for us. The humidity will start to rise as well. Our three things we're going to need to know if we're going to take away from this forecast. Well, it's going to be sunny for our Thursday, but on top of it, we we'll see those storm chances starting to roll their way back into our Friday, and it's going to be a muggy week as we get into next week as well. Taking a look at our 10 day forecast, we're going to see today and tomorrow going to be the nice ones. Temperatures won't be too bad on Friday, but the chances for showers and storms are what's going to put a rain on our parade for us. Now next week may not see too much in terms of rain chances, but it is surely going to be hot. So make sure that you are prepared to stay hydrated and stay cool as we see those temperatures really start to climb back into the upper 80s and close to even 90 degrees for us. But that's just on the surface. The humidity is going to kick things up as well, Charlotte. And coming up in sports, it was signing day of Bree Stevens, who forward Madison added to their team and why the Mingos are excited to be part of the first of its kind series. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. We do the math, people. For $79, you get all this. That costs over $400 at Lens Crafters, over $200 at Walmart, and over $150 at America's Best. When it comes to value, Stanton Optical is the top bird. Son, it's about time we had the uh, talk. It's time you knew the truth. Windows can take a beating, especially here in the Midwest. When it's time to replace them, call Feldco. Isn't Feldco offering two-for-one windows right now, Dad? They are, son. They are. Less talk, more action. Two-for-one windows from Feldco makes home improvement easy and affordable. Two-for-one windows end soon. Call now. Good quality windows, siding and doors. Call 866 for Feldco. Those brave men and women of our armed forces, generations of them, why should today's burdens fall back onto them? They were there for us. Now let's be there for them. Your local Wisconsin energy providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund are working together to deliver Wisconsin veterans in crisis heat, power, and help staying in their home. But they can't do it alone. 
Donate today. I'm going to miss you. At Prudential, we can't tell you when your kids will finally go out on their own. But we can at least make sure that when they do, you're ready. That's why millions rely on us for the rock-solid strength that helps you plan for and achieve your retirement dreams. Whichever road you take, who's your rock? Most senators couldn't tell you the cost of a gallon of milk. Thanks, Ruben. Or how much beef has gone up this year. But I'm not like most senators or any of the other millionaires running for Senate. My mom was a teacher and my dad worked third shift. I know how hard you work. And I know that by bringing manufacturing home, we create jobs and we lower costs. If we want to change Washington, we got to change the people we send there. I'm Mandela Barnes and I approve this message. Summer can be a stressful time for families whose food budgets are stretched to the limit. Tomorrow, our time for kids experts explain why and what you can do to help. Plus, rain chances do continue to increase towards the weekend. Your forecast tomorrow morning from 430 to 7. In two weeks forward, Madison will host Union Omaha in a huge USL League One battle. But the story of the night won't be that match. Instead, it will be what's happening after it. The Mingos are teaming up with Special Olympics Wisconsin to have a unified soccer match with the Owls and Special Olympics Nebraska. Four organizations working together to put on a first-of-its-kind series for all athletes of all abilities. Our sport of soccer is one that's for everybody. It's inclusive for everybody. It can be played by anybody. Um, and I think, again, this uh, series of games is a great testament to that. Um, to be able to share this game with that, with uh, our fans, with the flock, to be able to share our, the flock and our fans with this group of athletes, I couldn't be more excited about that. And to be able to share that again with a rival like Union Omaha is going to be outstanding as well. Twelve hours after last night's game ended, the Brewers and Twins were back at it again. Third inning, crew down a run. Jace Peterson gives one a ride to center field, and the solo shot ties the game up at one. And it would stay tied until the bottom of the ninth. Two on for Jose Miranda, and three gone. Twins walk it off with a three-run homer off Josh Hader. Brewers fall four to one, the final. Playoff Pat and the Bucks have a, agreed to a three-year contract extension, locking up the Milwaukee Guard through the 2025-26 season. The extension is reportedly worth $30 million. Connaughton is coming off his best season in the league where he averaged career highs in points, minutes, and three-point percentage. And former Badger men's hockey captain Ty Emerson is switching hockey sweaters. The Arizona fenceman has been traded to New York and will team up with former college teammate Ke'Andre Miller. Emerson skated in 58 games last season in the AHL where he scored four goals with the Roadrunners. Gotta love bad. those names. Roadrunners? <laughs> or beep, beep, beep. And he's right? going to need a sweater in New York. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just the same. There you go. Thank you for joining us. Have a great evening, and we will see you back here at 10.